Caroline, based on your experience as a judge for the Azalea International Folk Fair's World Dance Competition, what is the impact of cultural dance on its participants and its audience? Whenever I judge a competition like this, I think of how many people are seeing these cultural dances for the very first time. And although they have seen this type of movement combined with maybe pop culture dances or other genre, they might never have seen it in its pure traditional form. I have a dance company myself that does traditional dances, various types, and whenever we perform, people come up to us and are just amazed that they have never seen these things before in a traditional costume. So I think it's so valuable for the general audience to be able to see this type of thing. I've always been a big advocate of dance and uh, this festival allows me to really pay back a lot of the hospitality that I've received from a lot of countries and I'm always delighted to be a judge or in other capacities in supporting international studies which I have done a lot in, throughout my career as a dancer. By doing this, we're making an impact on our students because they see for themselves. They do not only read this from the books, but they actually come. They actually participate in the dances, in the games. They taste the food. They hear the music. They see the video. So they're right there. And even our teachers are having fun. They come away learning about the other parts of the world, which is wonderful. If we can do that to our kids, because a lot of our kids have not left the country. Wonderful way to to not have to spend an airline ticket uh, to travel across the Atlantic or Pacific Ocean. Just simply hop in your car uh, and come down to the Azalea Folk Fair and visit the different continents. Interest fees are really inexpensive. Uh, if you look at it, children four or younger do not pay anything. Uh, and children uh, older than four years uh, will only pay three dollars and adults pay six dollars. And for the six dollars you have the chance to basically visit five different continents. So this is a bargain Caring and generous qualities are vividly apparent here in Valdosta. We'd like to use this opportunity to pay tribute to many of our sponsors who give us their generous support to make this Azalea International Folk Fair possible in Valdosta. We have here with us today one of our major sponsors, Black Crow Media Group. If you live in Valdosta or in the surrounding area and listen to the radio, I'm sure you've heard the fantastic radio spots highlighting this weekend's events. These were all made possible by the generous donation of airtime by the Black Crow Media Group. We only thought it fitting that for our presentation of prizes to the winning teams of youth and adult small group divisions, Let's welcome the marketing manager, Mrs. Beth Piegler, to make these presentations of awards. Good afternoon. The third place award for youth team goes to team number four, the Glass Terra Junior Dance Troupe from Ireland. The second place award goes to Team 3, the Christiana Liedel in the country of Scotland. The first place award goes to Team number 7, 
Christiana, and Annalisa Liedel in the country of Sicily. We have the results in from the adult small group. Third place goes to Doheen Sae Institute, Atlanta, and the country is Korea. Number two, adult small group, Kahu Ahi, and the country is Polynesian. It's team number one. In first place, the Lili brothers, Stefan, Francis, and Jacob from Scotland. Number six. This is really the best part. These people have worked very hard and hang on because we're going to start with a fifth place winner. Take on the star in Odisha. The dance was the Thank you and goodbye!